Hi everyone, Matt Watson here from CarWow. I've got a really interesting drag race for you today. I'm sat in the BMW M5 competition, but it's been tuned by Evolve, so it now has 800 horsepower and 950 newton meters of torque from its 4.4 litre twin turbo V8. It's bonkers fastest car. So I wanna see how it'll compare to a superbike. And over there, I've got a Ducati Panigale V4R. So that's got a 998cc V4 motor in it with 221 horsepower and 112 newton meters of torque. It's a lot lighter than this car. This car's like 1950 kilos. That bike's only 193 kilos. And its rider is only 70 kilos. Now, I've done car versus bike drag races before, and often viewers go, oh God, why don't you get a proper bike rider to launch the bike because it didn't do a very good job. Well, I've made sure of that this time. The chap on that bike is called Tommy Bridewell and he races Ducatis. In fact, the racing version of that bike in the Bennett's British Superbike. If he doesn't know how to launch it, I don't know who does. Another thing I wanted to do is just see what you can do with the car when you tune it. So this one, it's five grand and you get a ECU tune, you get decap downpipe and air intakes, and it gives you that extra horsepower from the normal 625 to the 800 horsepower. But what happens if you go crazy on a car? And people like to tune GTRs, don't they? Over there, I've got a Nissan GTR R35 that's owned by a chap called Rocky Battle. Rocky, your car, it has 1600 horsepower and 1500 newton meters of torque from its 3.8 litre twin turbo V6. Is that right? Matt, the engine's actually a 4.1 stroker now. It's a larger displacement, short block, 1600 horsepower. It's got about 1100 foot pounds of torque, which is about 1500 newton meters, correct? And so, I mean, normally that car weighs about 1750 kilos. It's got a six speed dual clutch automatic gearbox launch control. How much does yours weigh after all the mods? Never really weighed it, Matt, but <laughs> I would say it's a little bit more than that. I've got a massive sound system in the back. I built it as a street car, so nothing stripped from it. It's got lighter seats, but I would say about 1,800 kilos. Plus your weight as well. And you have to have some weighty balls <laughs> to be able to launch a car like that without literally crapping yourself. How much money have you spent on it? This M5, it's probably worth now about 60 grand. It's got a five grand tune on it. That bike's 35 grand. How much in total, including the car, have you spent on that GTR? That's something I dodge quite frequently, but this car probably goes just over 300 grand. Oh my God. <laughs> now, if you want to follow Rocky's story and things he does with that crazy car on Instagram, it's at Rocky battle and the link is in the description below also follow the link to bennett's bike channel on youtube in the description below there's actually a real call behind the scenes video that they're actually filming now so you can see what really goes on when we shoot these drag race videos anyway without further ado shall we get on with the race but before we do make sure you subscribe to car right? hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on so you're alerted when we make a new upload also check out our new merch if you click on the pop out banner up there you can check out our designs i pity the fuel Especially today I do, we're getting through quite a lot of it, I can tell you that much. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at Matt Watson Cars. Right, let's do it. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow, and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. Now, before we get into any racing, it is customary at CarWow to do a sound check on the vehicles, and this has an upgraded exhaust. So have a listen to this, it sounds epic. <laughs> Hey Rocky, so you've obviously got an uprated exhaust on your GTR as well, but does it sound as good as this M5? Do you want to give it a rev? Not as good as that. <laughs> At least he's honest. It's not bad though. Let's have a listen to the bike, go on. I can barely hear it from here. Anyway, which do you think sounded the best? Let me know in the comments below. Actually, Rocky, seeing as you say that you've got a problem with fourth gear, does it make sense for us to film the riding race first and the brake test, and then we'll do the drag race afterwards? We don't know whether your transmission might just explode if we do the drag race, then it's game over. And it adds a little bit of suspense into this video to see when we finally do do the drag race, whether your car explodes or not. Some added jeopardy. Are you up for that? I'm good, bro. If it breaks, it breaks. F*** it. <laughs> That's the attitude of a man who spent 300 grand on a Nissan GTR. Okay, now we're gonna have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. The car's gonna be locked in third gear in sports mode. The bike is in second gear because of its gear ratios are slightly different and reasons. I'm gonna count it in on the radio for Rocky and his car, because his car's noisy. And I'm gonna count it in at the same time, or try to, with the horn for the biker. <laughs> let's see how this works out. All right, guys, let's go for this. Get a level with me then, Rock. 
Ready? Three, wait, wait. Three, two, one, go. Oh, this picks up so well. And here comes Rocky now. Oh my bloody God. And here comes the bike. Where's the bike? That GTR is nuts. Hopefully Tommy has seen the cone where we break from the rolling race. Otherwise we will never see him again. How is that for you Rocky? Was your car fine? Yeah, bad fourth gear there. I was in medium boost. So what happened? I counted it in and I shot off. I mean, the response on this engine is awesome, but then it hasn't got as big turbos as your car, has it? It was down to you putting on a third gear start and I haven't used any anti-lag. I just literally put in my foot. Second gear would be a different story, Matt. Second gear would be a different story. Well, wait there a second. How is that for you, Tommy? Germany is I can't hear the horn. You can't hear the horn. It's impossible. So I just went when I saw him boot it. Right. But even so, that was flat out everything this has got. So you've got no chance of it beating that. Okay. How about if you could race in any gear, from what speed, what would you like to race from? Well, when we started then, I was at 56 mile an hour and that was all of us level. Yeah. But it depends really, like flat out through the gears. Were you in second gear? Third. Third. Yeah. How about if you did it in second? I can try it. I said he was in second, he was in third. Let's do it again. Would you like to do second gear at 30 or 40? 40. Rocky, you can do whatever gear you want from 40 mile an hour. Do not destroy your transmission. Roger that. Right, now we're going to do a rolling race in second gear, 40 mile an hour. That way his car's in boost and the bike's in the power zone and he's in the gear that he should have been in the first place. <laughs> Not the third gear, but I think we should be on it now. Let's see what happens. There, second gear. Get level with me, Rocky. Get your body level with me. Three, two, one, go. This almost went sideways. That's on boost now. Here comes the bike. This is a better race. Oh, he didn't get fourth. So Rocky, what happened then? Transmission's really not happy. It's uh, thrown a wobbly again. So I think we are done, maybe. Really? Yeah, I mean, I could try resetting it, but it's really not happy. I'm pushing it on limp mode at the moment. It shot off there really nicely, as you saw. Do you want to just do a brake test, see what happens? Have you got upgraded brakes? It looks like you have. What brakes you got on that? Carbon ceramics all round. They're not the standard ones though, surely? ZR1 rotors, they're upgraded. Go on then, Rocky, let's get to 70, if you can. As soon as your nose hits that line, full emergency stop. Here it is. Oh! Oh! Mate, just about beat ya. Only just. I'm a heavier man, Matt. <laughs> it's those balls of steel yet again weighing you down. Although I think you have to have the biggest balls to ride a motorbike. The bike lost that. And the thing is, in these cars, we've got crash protection, yet they stop in shorter distances. So you have to be very brave, don't you, riding a bike? Would you ever ride a bike, Rocky? Ridden bikes, I've got a bike license. I've had a bike till recently, I sold it. Had a couple of close calls, a couple of accidents. I've now promised the missus I'll stop riding. <laughs> but yeah, you've got to have some big kahunas. Right, we're going to the drag race, the final thing to do. Will Rocky's car explode? We are going to find out. Rocky, are you sure you want to do this, mate? So we built these cars for fun, Matt. This is what we do, bro. There's no point of putting them in garages and hiding them. And when we have issues, we, we run away. If it breaks down, it breaks down. Oh, you know, let's go for it. Well, let's hope it doesn't break down, although it might make the video view even stronger if it does. Who knows? Let's see what happens. Let's do the drag race. Absolutely ripped off the line. As his car died, here comes the bike. Can I beat the bike to the standing quarter? Bugger! I think his car's had it. He tried, you've got to give him that. Let's find out what happened. Man, this is quick, but that bike, beat him off the line. 
even though it is a I've race. My gearbox gone properly. <laughs> you heard it. Your gearbox is gone. Listen, we've got half the gearbox right, so I've still got first, third, and fifth gear. I haven't got second, fourth, and sixth. So did it actually launch? Bob straight away because it tried to spin in first, tried to find second, couldn't because I lost even gears. <laughs> So then what exactly happened? Well, the Ducati completed the standing quarter mile in 10 seconds, the Tune BMW took 10.4 seconds, and the poor old Nissan with its gearbox issues crossed the line in 11.8 seconds. What happened? I launched really well, and I got ahead of you. And then what happened? You, well, we know what happened, you blasted past this. <laughs> That's bikes for you. Amazing power to weight ratio. Once you've launched them, they fly, don't they? What's your racing bike like compared to that in terms of the launching? But off the line, this would be not a million miles away, but as soon as you get into second, my bike could probably pull two seconds gone. Right, glad we didn't have that in the racing. Basically, you're lucky I didn't bring it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> lucky you didn't bring it. Otherwise, it would have been a completely uh, foregone conclusion. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out Benick's bike channel. Okay, just click on the pop out banner up there to go check it out. They've got a behind the scenes video on this and more information on that bike and stuff like that. Also, go check out Paul Rocky on Instagram. You can actually follow him getting his gearbox rebuilt, probably. So it's at Rocky Battle, and the link is in the description as well. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon to turn your notification on so you're alerted when we make a new upload. And look, if you want to buy some of our merch, I pity the fuel, then just check the link in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.